I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up. Why the cottage blows, yeah. I wanna try my. Alright, what's up, guys? It's Kenya here, and today I'm going to do a day in the life video. Today is the first day of the spring semester, so I kind of want to take you guys throughout my day and show you what the first day at Howard looks like. Also, if you guys have been watching the channel, then you'll know that I made a similar video for the fall semester, so definitely check that video out after you watch this one. But I think that I can make a more informative video, so that's why I am making this one for the spring semester. This semester, I'm taking a total of six classes, and that's actually pretty late for me. I usually take seven classes. I've done that for the past two semesters. So yeah, I'm really happy with my schedule right now. But yeah, today I'm taking three classes. So I have three classes on Monday through Thursday, and then I have one class on Friday. But overall, I'm really excited for this semester. I'm excited to see how my classes are. I didn't enjoy a lot of my classes last semester but I'm really excited for some of my classes this semester, particularly principles and marketing. I wanna see what that class is like and I hope that I can use some of the lessons from that class for you know starting a business or just applying it to my YouTube channel. But yeah, right now I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. And then I also am gonna edit a YouTube video after this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so I just did some editing. I've been thinking about like this idea of like time and priorities and like just the correlation between the two. I think a lot of people, they say that they don't have enough time to do something. Like last semester, I would say, oh, I have schoolwork to do. I have all of these things to do. I don't really have enough time to edit videos. But I think really it's just a matter of not prioritizing that thing. Because honestly, we always make time for the things that we care about. Like if I really wanna edit a video, then I'll build my schedule around editing videos. Videos. And the same is for any other goal that I want to achieve. But yeah, I guess my big realization and what I want you to take away is that time is never an excuse to not do something. Because again, if you don't have enough time to do something that you really care about, then perhaps it just isn't that much of a priority. But yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on like the connection between time and priorities. Because again, a lot of people say like, oh, I don't have enough time to do this thing. But really, I think that that's just an excuse. Right now though, it's 11, 04. My first class actually starts at 11.10, so I have like six minutes. It's also online. I didn't mention that before. Two of my classes today are in person, and this class is online. And I'm also going to go to a business communications class because for my current business communications class, it's online, whereas for this class that I'm going to go to today, it's in person. <music> So I was in class and then the fire alarm went off. Just a reminder to never do classes in my room because there's always the threat of the fire alarm going off. Right now though, I'm gonna go to the library so that I can hop back on this class. Alright, so class just ended. I can already tell that that's going to be a boring class. The professor was really nice, but the lectures, I can just tell that they're going to be pretty long and it's going to go by very slowly. We didn't really do that much. We just went over the syllabus and that's generally what you do for like your first day of classes. You just go over the syllabus and basically the requirements for the class. I think though, even on the first day, you can kind of get a good idea of whether a class is going to be interesting or not and just based on the vibe I can kind of tell that it's not going to be great. <laughs> Unfortunately though I have to take like a science class it's a gen ed requirement 
and a lot of the science intro classes, the teachers are just really bad, at least according to rate my professor. But yeah, that professor had the best rating, even though it's like a 2.5. And I like when the time or when the class is, so I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Right now though, I'm gonna go back to my room. I never finished steaming my clothes, so I'm gonna do that. And I have around 50 minutes until I'm meeting up with someone for lunch. Waiting for the end, I don't wanna live like this, not again Say it I said, you know, straight to my head I was in your bottom, but I fell with the guys Waiting Quarantine from our own glory Oh, what is real vision been so blurry Are we helpless? Can you help me? I can feel it, it's not a day to work, yes Oh, yeah, it's not too new Screaming, fuck this town It reminds me of you Of you We're all close up, so if I say goodbye Then I mean it Okay, so French class just ended. It ended like 30 minutes early, so I have like 40 minutes until my next class. So I'm gonna go to the business school. There's like a library within the school, and I'm gonna do some work because I already have homework for that French class. But yeah, overall though, that class was pretty interesting. I like the vibe. I think it's gonna be a difficult class, but at least it's interesting. But my next class after this is business communications, and that's the class that I'm technically not registered for at least not this section but I want to see if the in-person class is good but yeah I'm gonna go to the library and the business school Crocs and socks, a lifestyle that I'm really rocking. Body whatever, nobody blocking this Mortal Kombat. I'm not a brown boy that makes wanna be black songs. Got a real love for the craft influence of black gods. I know somebody's gotta say it at some point. See me in person, let's talk, and you get the same story. Look, it's all genuine, all authentic. Set intention every morning, so I'm all on center. This one here is really for my ABCDs. Underdogs like Chris B attempting to three P. Dropping songs and DMs like I'm handing out CDs. You could catch this bar like. All right, I just got back from the calf. I was eating dinner with one of my friends, Jonathan. I had a good time catching up with him. Just to kind of recap what I've been doing, I had those two classes, business communication and honor seminar. In business communications, we went over the syllabus. And yeah, again, that's kind of what you do for the first day. You aren't really doing actual work. You're just going over the syllabus. The teacher is kind of outlining the expectations for the course. And yeah, you're just learning more about what's expected of you. For Honors though, we didn't go over the syllabus because I've been taking that seminar course for basically two years now. We kind of know the expectations. So we just got a lecture on case study presentations because as an honors student, I'm required to take part in case studies and there's a lot of money in case studies. So we kind of just got a lecture on how to do well in case studies so that we win these competitions. But yeah, honestly, it hasn't been like a crazy day. I haven't really, you know, gone on like any adventures or anything. I've kind of just gone around to classes and I did some editing earlier and I got a chance to talk to some friends. But for the most part, it's been a really chill day. I feel like this day is pretty realistic of what my day-to-day -day looks like in college. I feel like in a lot of day in the life videos, as a content creator, you kind of have to spice up your life a little bit, kind of think about story and just making an entertaining story. And I think to a certain extent, that's bad for for you guys as the viewer because it can set false expectations for what college looks like. I think going into college, my expectation was that I would do schoolwork, but I would also hang out with my friends every day and basically go on adventures and have a lot of fun. And yes, there's a time for that, but every day shouldn't be you know, hanging out with friends and going to sleep late. You have to balance that with doing schoolwork and extracurriculars 
and also potential projects that you're doing. I guess if there's anything that I want you to take away, it's that college isn't always going on adventures and doing all of these fun things with friends. However, that doesn't mean that doing schoolwork and going to classes and working on personal projects isn't fun because Again, today was a very fun day, even if maybe it's not as interesting of a day if you compare it to other college vlogs. But yeah, I just wanted to say that I have some phone calls to make, so I'm gonna make those. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative of what a day in the life looks like at Howard University. If you enjoyed this video, definitely feel free to leave a like and check out some of my other videos. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Peace.